Overnight and in the morning on August 3rd, powerful explosions were heard by residents of Kharkiv and Mykolaiv. Thus, in Kharkiv, the arrival was recorded in the Holodnohirsky district. Also, the enemy hit an infrastructure facility in the Novobovarsky district. According to preliminary information, no casualties were reported. Arrivals in Mykolaiv were confirmed by the city mayor Oleksandr Sinkevich. A fire broke out in one area of the city and a supermarket was destroyed in another. Rescuers are working at the site. In occupied Severodonetsk, emergency apartment buildings are falling down. The head of the Luhansk Regional Military Administration, Serhii Haidai, reports that a house on Partizanska Street fell in the middle of the day. People were passing nearby. Whether anyone is inside the building is unknown. Russian troops are building up its forces in the Kherson region. Enemy airborne units are now being transferred to the region. Due to the advance of the Ukrainian armed forces, Russia began to strengthen its defensive capabilities. In the context of the fact that our armed forces already have a certain advantage on the contact line and in destroying the enemy's rear supplies, the occupier still moves its forces and in particular paratrooper units. What is reported, there is reinforcement despite the destroyed logistics and transportation artilleries for the supply of weapons and ammunition from Crimea. Serhii Huan, advisor to the head of the Kherson Regional Military Administration. The Ukrainian armed forces hit the enemy base in Chernobyevka. The Ukrainian army's rocket and artillery units fired on the Russian occupation forces base. This is reported by the Operational Command South. The Russian army began to create a strike force in the Kriviri direction. The preparation of a hostile counterattack with subsequent plans to reach the administrative border of the Kherson region is not ruled out. Given the threat of missile attacks and, in some areas, artillery fire remains high, do not ignore the air raid alarms. If appropriate, follow the two-wheel rule and move into a shelter. Do not put yourself in danger. Observe the rules and restrictions of the legal martial law regime and trust only verified sources of information and defense forces. Synonymous with the word justice, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky thanked the United States for the ammunition for the HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems, which was included in the new military aid package for the Ukrainian armed forces. In his video message, he noted that every day diplomats and all other representatives of our state do their best and impossible to get for Ukraine the weapons that will eventually help to stop Russia. Yes, indeed, we still cannot completely break the advantage of the Russian army in artillery and in manpower, and this is very tangible in the battles, especially in Donbass, Piski, Avdivka, other directions. It's just hell there. It can't even be described in words. 358 young Ukrainians became victims of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. According to the Ministry of Internal Affairs, almost 700 children were wounded. At least 5,754 were illegally deported to Russia. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Natalia Hayevska, UATV News.